Good morning, everyone. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I am going to be just talking to you about what's been going on in my mind and in my life and kind of giving you a preview of what I'm thinking I'm going to do for the month of December. And while I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to be making breakfast for Mariah. So hopefully this video turns out. <laughs> All right. First thing I need to do is get eggs. Recently, I've just kind of been feeling tired and worn out, and I don't, I mean, I could blame it on being a mother of six, but I don't think that's the reason why I'm so tired and worn out. I think it's because I've been lazy in my relationship with God. Haven't been praying as much as I should, haven't been reading my Bible as much as I should, and when I am doing those things, I really feel like I'm just going through the motions. My idea for the month of December is to do something every single day that focuses not only me, but my family on Christ. With Christmas coming up, I'm just really feeling like, I don't wanna give in to like the commercialism of it. I don't, I want our family to be focused on what the real reason for Christmas is and not all about like the presents and the decorations and you know just all this pressure to buy stuff and do stuff and you know I see all these influencers out there going here's my gift guide for Christmas like I could totally do that I could do that but I don't want to because I feel tons of pressure to buy stuff so I imagine all of my viewers feel the same way, all like 140 of you, but I don't, I don't want to give in to that pressure. So we're going to be doing activities that refocus our hearts and our minds on Christ. And I'm kind of fleshing out how that is all going to look in this video, I guess. I forgot that I broke this, so I can't use the olive oil that's in here. Fun. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to film like shorts when we're doing these activities and post those on a daily basis and then have like a weekly recap of the activities that we did that will be like a long form video for you to watch. And in the long form videos, you know, I'll just kind of um, like I said, like recap what we did, talk about um, like the cost, the time it took to set it up, um, what worked for us, what didn't, what we got out of it, and just kind of hopefully help you guys too in the process of getting my own family back to being centered on Christ for Christmas. So I've made Mariah breakfast and she has a physical therapy appointment that we need to be leaving for. So I guess I will be finishing the rest of this video when I get back from that. And we're back. Okay, so while I was at Mariah's therapy, I was really thinking through um, this video a little bit more. And I'm thinking in addition to like the shorts where I document, you know, the readings that we're doing and the activities that we're doing. Um, I'll also share like maybe a Bible verse that um, really speaks to me that day or I don't know, something like that. And then um, like today in this video, I think, because I did do some research on like tips to make your home more Christ-centered during Christmas, I think I'd share some of those tips with you guys. So tip number one is a habit that we're going to try and develop and that's reading the Bible daily and praying daily as a family. Tip number two. Um, 
make it others focused. So come up with service activities, things to take the focus off of ourselves and put it onto others. Because when we're focused on ourselves, it's easy to fall into that trap of buying stuff like, oh, I want this, I want that. And putting your attention on someone else and their needs kind of helps you forget about all that entitlement and gimme, gimme, gimme's. Tip number three is focus on God. It's kind of like a mixture of tip one and tip two. Um, like focus on what God has done for you. Like what, how has he been faithful in the past? And focusing on all the things that we have to be grateful for that God has given us is a good way to also not be like, oh, I need this, I need that. So count your blessings and just have a spirit of gratitude this season. Um, that will help us make Christmas more Christ-centered. So those are the three tips I found that I'm gonna try and apply this month. Um, I hope that you guys will join me in this journey, not just like as viewers, but maybe even, um, you know, try and do some of these things at home for yourself um, and for your family so that we can all have a little bit more of Christ in Christmas. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate you all, and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season.